our seven random quick crafts video. Thank you so much. So let's make another one because new requests have been pouring in. Okay, let's see what we got. Your room. What? That's, that's not quick. Rooms take time. But maybe we can try to do something. Like recycle a space we haven't used in a while. This is one of our dollar store rooms that kind of became storage. So we're going to clean it out, renovate it, and fix it up. Redecorating an existing space is a fun activity to do. But it does mean cleaning. Listen to my drum as I bang. The room is now cleared out. This room has a ceiling. It does go on an incline, which is really cool. But I need it to be a little bigger. So we're going to knock down this wall, extend this wall, and add one on this side. I use an X-Acto knife to cut the wall. That should do it. Let's turn this to the side because I'm going to add on to this back right here. I have more foam board. The room is already 14 inches. So let's go another seven inches. I cut two, one to extend the floor and the other to extend the wall. On the wall, I need to trim the top by the width of the foam board. Use a hot glue gun to glue the floor together. This is going to need more support. So I'm gluing a piece of cardboard underneath. Much better. Glue on the wall extension. Unfortunately, that did leave a nice little seam going down our wall. So we have to cover the wall with paper. I'm using a white brick scrapbook paper to keep it bright and open. I am limited on scrapbook paper, so bear with me <laughs> while I am piecing this together. Ah, it's a seam. Well, I don't think that solved the problem for the seam going down the wall. I still see one, but hopefully it's a little less noticeable. Usually I do corner rooms, just two walls and a floor. But today I'm going to close off this side. I cut another piece of foam board for this wall. Ooh, that's going to look nice. But before we glue it in, let's lay down a floor. Now in my actual room, I have carpet but today we're using a scrapbook paper that has a lot of texture. It kind of looks like carpet to me. While this is still open, I'm going to use foam board to add a ledge to the windows, use strips of poster board to cover these seams, cut clear plastic from packaging. I cut it to cover about half of the window, glue a small piece of foam board at the bottom of the plastic to make an open window so we can get some fresh air and hear the birds singing in the morning. This space already looks a lot better. Before we glue on that side wall, I take the door from the wall that we cut away, cut out the frame, clean it up with some poster board, trace it on the wall, on the inside and outside, cut it out, glue the frame into the opening, cut out a door, add toothpicks onto one side of the corners, Make a hole in the frame for the toothpick. Glue cardstock or poster board onto the door for details. Place the door in the frame. Glue on the wall. Glue on beads and buttons for a doorknob. Use foam board to cover the gap in the ceiling. I usually don't put ceilings on my room, but I think this is going to give us some great lighting effects. And my real room has a ceiling, so this one does too. Glue on strips of foam board for baseboards. We can also use the trim around the top to cover any gaps. Cut three two-inch strips of foam board. Cut two-inch squares and glue them to the longer boards. Glue another long board on top. My long boards are 12 inches long. Add another one on top. Glue pieces onto the sides for a long shelving unit. That goes against the back wall right in the center. Cut rectangles of foam to fit inside. Cut cardstock and glue it around the edge. I glue a scrapbook paper that looks like a woven basket to the front. Place it on the shelf. Now I just have to make 11 more. That took a while. Definitely a great project to pass the time. 
I'm using the bed from our doll horse lover room. And we're gonna put that right against the wall. But let's add to it. I'm gonna glue giant craft sticks around the bottom, glue them across the headboard, glue a silver wood trim around the edge to give the bed a little makeover. I add gray bedding from a previous video cause that's like my color. Add lots of pillows, of course, gray ones, fuzzy ones, and a pink one. That's my sad attempt at adding a little color. I measure the space between the windows. It looks like we got about six and a half inches. I cut black foam board into inch and a half strips. This one is six and a half inches long. I cut two rectangles that are two and three quarters. I'm gonna glue those onto the ends. Cut a rectangle that can fit between. And I cut this so that it is slightly smaller. Glue it across the center. Glue another six and a half piece to the bottom. Glue two pieces of foam on front. There should be just enough space because we cut this shelf shorter. Glue the whole thing onto leftover cardstock. Use strips of cardstock to add details to the doors. Glue more foam to the top and bottom. Glue on beads for knobs to make a TV stand. If we glue it down and add the cell phone holder, from our Extreme Makeover Dollhouse Edition, inspired by the 1962 Barbie Dreamhouse, it could hold a cell phone. Well, hey, an easy printable TV is on the list. You got anything for that? Yeah, we do. We've been making printables like crazy and posting them to our blog, based on many of y'all's requests. Like that printable TV right there. On our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com, we have a tab at the top that says how to print printables. Click on that, then go down to the album that says Easy Dollhouse Stuff. After downloading and printing, cut out the TV, glue it onto cardstock, poster board, foam board, whatever you got. I actually want a larger TV than this. I'll be right back. A larger TV is now available. Glue it onto the foam board, cut it to fit, glue another piece on the back, glue it to another rectangle for a base, place it on the stand, and now Minnie Toya can watch one of her favorite new shows. What about a plant? They want more plants. I do have a plant in my room. It's a Monstera plant, and I know we've already shown you how to make one of those, but maybe there's a faster way. I've got some artificial plants lying around, but they're not the right shape. So I'm going to gently peel it off, fold it in half, cut that heart shape, open it up and take small little clips or snips out of the sides. We've done this before in our target room, but it was one tiny little leaf. It was a Target-inspired magazine room. Repeat to make more. Take the wire stems from an artificial plant. Glue the leaves to the wires. Take the cap from mouthwash. Roll strips of felt. Glue it inside the cap. Place the leaves inside the felt. Bend the wire to arrange the leaves. For a quick house plant. There is a request for a side table. In my room, I do have a little table in that corner. To make the table, we need cardstock and wire. This is floral wire that I bought at the dollar store. However, you can get a very similar look using bobby pins. Cut two pieces of wire, straighten them out, find the center, and bend it up. And then we're gonna bend it down, bend the other side, so we're making an M. Let's try to even that out. Repeat for the other one. The center of one should be slightly taller than the other so that it can go on top. Now let's line them up and bend over the top at the same spot on both. Ah, that one's a little short. That should work. Find something to trace circles onto the cardstock. Cut out several, stack and glue them together. Take the loop that is the taller one which is this one. Glue it onto the circle. I used a generous amount of hot glue. 
glue on the other one like so, making sure they line up to make a table. I have one just like this from Five Below. It was such a good deal. I place it in the corner of the room and put the plant on top. More room decor. Here's an easy one. We have a printable rug on our blog. I took a picture of a rug from Five Below. I'm gonna cut it out. I'll make the rug available by itself. This is a printable that we made a while back, but it has a floor on it. But we don't need the floor at the moment, so we're just gonna trim that off. Glue it onto recycled paperboard and cut it out for a rug. And we're just gonna place that on the floor right there. Because that's where mine is. Take a large craft stick, cut it into four pieces, glue them together to make a wooden box, roll a thin strip of paper around a pencil, add more than one strip as needed, then use glue to secure the ends, paint it, color the front and back of paper with a green marker, cut it out so you have a small strip, then very finely cut it. I'm talking as thin as you can make it. Trim away the excess, curl the paper, roll it around a toothpick, glue it into the paper tube, glue it inside of the box, glue it onto the wall. Here's another plant idea. Take a toothpick, use a hot glue gun to make a drop of glue right on the tip, hold it upside down, and allow it to dry. There it is, nice little rounded drop. Add another drop of glue right by it. Make sure you lift the nozzle, spin it around a few times, and then hold it upside down so we can get rid of some of those little strings. And we're just gonna let that dry. It's important to allow them to dry between each one or they're just gonna merge. So take your time. I know that this is just gonna take a while. We can control what direction the glue dries in by just tilting the toothpick. Just keep building until you get the shape that you want. Once dried, brush it with some light green paint. The colors I'm using are called sage and celery. First I went over it with sage, now I'm just kind of tapping it with the celery. Allow it to dry, cut the toothpick, glue it into a paper tube to make a moonstone succulent. Next, Nintendo Switch. Not a problem, we have a printable for that. Inspired by the Nintendo Switch Lite, this is the Frog Tendo Stitch. Pick from three different options, cut out the one you want, glue it onto cardstock that is a similar color. We did make a template, so you have the option of gluing it onto paperboard, cutting out several layers, and painting them before assembling your Frog Tendo Stitch. If you are using cardstock, after gluing them down, allow them to dry, cut them out, glue them down again, cut them out, and repeat until you get the desired thickness. Glue them together, cut a thin piece of craft foam, glue it onto the top corners to make a miniature Frog Tendo Stitch. A Kindle. There is a request for a Kindle. There's a printable for that as well. Cut out both pieces and glue them onto black cardstock. Cut it out and repeat. Stack and glue them together to make a tadpole inspired by a Kindle. Take it a step further. Cut a strip of cardstock that is slightly larger. Fold it over. Trim off the excess. Cut thin strips of cardstock and glue it right over the edge. Repeat for the lower corner. Place it on scrapbook paper. Make an impression around the edges. Cut on the outside of the impressions. Fold them over and glue them down so the edges are nice and clean. Glue the cardstock on top, locking the ends of the paper strip between the layers, making a case to hold the tablet. We can glue a little loop of paper in the back so the dolls can hold it. Now Minnie Toya can sit in her room and read about her favorite show. Art supplies. We have a printable sketchbook. Just cut out the cover and the back. Glue them onto recycled paperboard. I'm actually gluing these onto the printed side. So when I cut it out, it's clean on the back. Cut out the pages. 
There are only three on the printable, but we can use them as a guide to cut additional pages. Stack the pages, put them between the cover and the back, run glue across the top edge, press and hold to make a mini sketchbook with pages. A Chia Pet! Wow! Okay! Take a mini figurine, anything from Littlest Pet Shop to Hatchimals. I'm using a dog. Paint it terracotta. Use a hole punch on cardstock. Brush the torso of the painted figure with glue. Take the paper we punched out and sprinkle it over the glue to make a miniature Chia Pet. Now we just have to allow it to dry. While waiting, can you make a game? We have cards inspired by Uno at the bottom of our printable. Cut them out. Glue one side onto an index card. Once dried, cut them out. Cut out one of the number cards. Glue it onto the back to make cards inspired by Uno. A cleaning product. We updated our disinfectant spray printable. Cut it out along with the template on the side. Cut paper to the height of the template which is about an inch and a half. Roll it around a toothpick. Add more paper as needed to get the desired width. Use glue to secure the ends. Glue on the printable, starting with the left-hand side to make a miniature can of disinfectant spray. Recycle a toilet paper roll. Take a toilet paper roll, cut it up the center, then cut it in half. Glue the two pieces around a plastic lid to make a larger cylinder. Take fabric, push it inside, glue the edges down, glue twine or yarn around the outside to make a basket for holding blankets, laundry, stuff like that. Home workout stuff. The easiest thing to make is a yoga mat. You can use craft foam or recycle an old yoga mat. I'm cutting three inches by 10 inches for a quick doll yoga mat. On our printable, we have some shapes at the top. Cut them out, glue them onto leftover foam board, cut them out, cut cotton swabs, glue the cotton swab to the circle in the middle of the shape on both ends, paint them, seal it with a layer of tacky glue, allow it to dry to make weights. Take a flat elastic hairband, cut off the knot, overlap and glue down the ends to make a resistance band. We store all of the workout items in the basket. The last thing on the list is snacks. We have a couple of printables for that as well. Please forgive the chipped nail polish, but we're almost at the end and I don't wanna stop now. We have three bag printables and three box printables. To make the boxes, cut them out. There's a template and a cover for each one. Glue the template onto layers of paperboard until it is the same thickness as the side of the box. Fold the printable for the outside of the box on the lines. Glue the paperboard inside. Glue down the tabs to make a box of candy. For the bags, cut out the printable. Take clear tape. Fold over the top edge of the tape. Take a long piece and cover half of the printable. Cover the other side. Use the folded tabs to lift it up. Trim off the top and bottom. Make a cut at the center line. Trim the tape that's attached to the back. Fold it in half. Fold over the tape to make an empty bag of snacks. But we do have printable chips to go inside of the froggitos. Just cut out the triangles, glue them back to back to make chips. For the dried mango strips, tear small pieces of an orange-yellow cardstock, crumble it up, and give it a little twist to look like dried mango. One of my favorite snacks. All right, let's just check the list right quick. We made a room, TV, plant, side table, room decor, Nintendo Switch, Kindle, art supplies, a Chia Pet, game, cleaning spray, a toilet paper roll craft, workout stuff, and snacks. That's 14 crafts. And that is all we have time for today. 
And now we are going to challenge you to make a diorama of your own room. Yeah, this is pretty much what mine looks like, minus the Chia Pet. I don't have any art on the walls yet, because I just haven't gotten around to it. There is definitely a basket of workout equipment by the TV, so I can watch YouTube and work out. Then chill and watch my favorite show. Thank you for joining us while we made 14 random crafts. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time for another Stay Home and Craft. Bye!